Hello, I'm Ginger Conlon, Editor-in-Chief of One to One Media, and I'm here at the Gartner CRM Summit in Washington, D.C. with Debbie Duran, who is the Manager of Global CRM Development and Operations Team for Travelocity, which just happened to win one of our One to One Impact Awards this past January. Welcome, Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Debbie deals a lot with customer data for Travelocity, and as you can imagine, being an online um, travel provider, that data is immense, immensely valuable. So, uh, I wanted to talk with you a little bit about how you're using that data, how you kind of are accessing it, and as we were walking over to the interview area, I thought it was interesting to learn that um, Debbie's coined a term called ACRM, or Active CRM. So, so tell me a little bit about that. Right. So basically, we're leveraging the data that's available to us within the Teradata Data Warehouse and using that to deliver upon our CRM strategy. So uh, we basically take the, the historical customer and booking information and use it to score up offers that we then serve up to the customers through multiple channels. And the active part of it is being able to action upon that data. So we're actioning it through the email channel and that's the traditional channel I think people think about is delivering through the email channel or direct mail. But now we're able to take that same message and deliver it to the home page. So we're directly communicating or establishing a dialogue with our customer through, the, through our home page. So now, is it, uh, is it something that's happening in real time? Is it information that they can also use to kind of set up a personal page? How is that working? So basically, we serve up the message to the home page, and the active part of it is that it calls our data warehouse and it delivers that message in real time. So a customer's information can change over time. So it's a, it's a matter of how often do you refresh that data and use that data then to deliver a different relevant and compelling message. So. So yeah. that's great because if they're interested in tropic vacations, you can serve up that information and right. then if they decide they want right. to learn about ski vacations, you can serve right. up that kind of information. Right. So that's great because it's really changing as customer needs change right. and right. evolve. Fascinating. Um, so now are there times that you choose not to personalize a page for some reason that kind of go with the flow of letting them poke around or? Well, um, part of our strategy right now is, is how do we reach out to our customers and right now we only recognize up to 5% of our customers and we're looking to increase that through some, some technology enhancements that we've put in place to increase the recognition rate. So, but we've also extended that strategy to our guest sessions. So the people that come in and we don't recognize them, we are offering the same relevant and compelling messages for the guests based upon their last shopped information that we have captured for them. So at that point, um, we've leveraged the same infrastructure, so it's the same data that's available, but now we're using it for guests. So at this point, there's no, there's no cost for doing that. You know, we've, we're leveraging the same infrastructure, so there's no additional cost. So I would say no, we're, we're, we're willing to extend the reach of our data and our CRM strategy even for guests. Yeah. So any surprising findings so far? Uh, you know, have you learned anything interesting about customers, any trends or anything that you maybe didn't expect from looking through or using all this data in real time? Um, we're seeing a, a higher, higher increase in the, the session data. So the more relevant, compelling messages that we deliver to the home page, we're seeing people come back and that's really helped our loyalty so they know that we know who they are <laughs> so it's not quite like I guess that was the big insight we thought oh it's going to be considered big brothers watching over you but I think they appreciate that we know who they are and only offer them relevant and compelling messages not bombard them with because people tune out all those ads that are at the top of the website people just tune them out so we've been able to integrate within our home page specific areas of the page that really draw their attention so people aren't going to look at the top little promo ads. They're going to look at the areas that, you know, really stand out for them. Any other ways that you're using all this customer data that you've got access to? Yeah, we're using it for our business intelligence, uh, the traditional use of our data in the data warehouses for business intelligence, and using it to determine offers. Uh, to, we do a lot of scoring of the offers and do that based upon the data that we have. So we have a wealth of shopping information available within the warehouse. And we can use that data to serve up the best offer for someone. So, uh, for example, one of our campaigns that's very uh, relevant and compelling is our Good Day to Buy campaign. And we're able to go through and, and search through 50,000 markets, origin and destinations, and 
based upon the average pricing, if the average price has dropped below a certain threshold, we determine it's a good day to buy and we want to be able to message that to our customers. So it's really, you know, very compelling for our customers and it provides support for our customer strategy to, to, to be their customers, to be the customer's champion. So you said that customer, you see customer loyalty increase, people are coming back, spending more time. Mm -hmm. Is that, um, have you, do you have any numbers that are showing the satisfaction? Because it seems like really, um, you're really kind of meeting customers' needs and expectations right. by doing this, so it seems like right. you really have some happy customers. Yeah, um, well we're seeing it through just the, the session data, so we're seeing a, an increase of seven times in the number of clicks that someone makes, and we've seen it in our bookings, we've seen an increase of four to five times more bookings for the for having a relevant site versus a non-relevant site. Wow, that's fabulous. So, you know, it just goes to show again how important customer data is and really understanding right. that customer data. Any next steps with uh, with using your data for something new that you haven't tried yet? Um, we are looking at, uh, like I mentioned, trying to increase the recognition of our customers, trying to increase that up to 8% uh, based upon utilizing some data that we capture through our web analytics tool. So we're trying to recognize more of our customers. We want, and we also want to extend our guest session campaign management. So right now it's managed by our web app, and it's a web app managed rules. And we want to be able to extend that so we can leverage our, our Teradata Serum tool set to then more proactively manage and offer you know, the most relevant and compelling offers for them. Great. Well, Debbie, thank you so much for joining sure. us today. Thank you. Thank you.